Hey Gemini, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for February 2020. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, Gemini, if the message resonates with you guys, can you please throw me a like, a comment, subscribe, or a share? I do offer private readings and if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. Gemini, this is energy, so this could be happening now, getting ready to happen, or happen in the past. Um, because it is energy, this could be you or your person. Feel free to flip this where this goes, okay? This is a general message, so all messages will not resonate for you. Throw out what doesn't, okay? Um, again, guys, if the message resonates, please throw me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. All right, Gemini, I went ahead and I pulled some cards for you guys. And I'm already getting a story developed. Develop. Uh, I got a bit, a bit of a story. Let's go ahead and get into it, okay? The first card I got is an end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Capricorn, but some of you got guys, if it's not a Capricorn you're dealing with, I feel like there is something that you deem here toxic, okay? And there's and there's been a rough cycle with something that you feel that is toxic and it's getting ready to appro approach an end, okay? It's been kind of rough. The next card I have is show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius. However, I do feel like some of you are getting ready to show the uh, real, show the, wor the world the real you. However, I do feel as though some of you are getting ready to snatch someone's mask off. The next I have is the energy is gaining momentum. Okay. So, the, there, so there is there is an end of a rough cycle that's getting ready to approach. The energy is gaining momentum. And at the bottom of my deck, I had a time of healing. So you will heal from whatever this is for you, Geminis. Okay. Now, I went ahead and I clarified both all of the cards. Okay. And what I got for an end of a tough cycle is approaching is light, which is the sun. You could be dealing with the Leo. But I felt strongly that this was indicative at the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. So some of you guys are definitely getting ready to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some of you are getting ready to have some blessings or abundance. Some of you may have a Leo or Capricorn getting ready to approach you at, at the end of some sort of tough cycle. But here's what I got. Now, for show the world the real you, the full moon in Aquarius, I had temptation, which is definitely indic indicative of Capricorn, okay? But this could be something toxic or codependent or something that you deem. For some of you, I picked up strongly that you feel like someone is wearing a false mask, Okay. And I, I felt strongly that you're getting ready to snatch someone's mask off. I just kept getting, <laughs> getting that message. Now, under the energy is gaining momentum, I have recognition and, re and reward, which is the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, okay? And at the bottom of the deck on this, on this deck, I have wisdom, which is indicative of the Hierophant. I got a couple of messages for you guys for this, Gemini. For some of you, I feel like you guys may have been studying You've been in some sort of institution of higher learning. It's been kind of tough on you. And maybe you're nervous because you're getting ready to graduate. You're getting ready to get a recognition and re reward. The energy is gaining momentum. You're getting ready to show the real world you. And you're getting ready to have some real abundance. And there's going to be a lot of tip. There's going to be a lot of offers for you. Okay. So, so uh, there's going to be a lot of. There, people are going to be very tempted to make you offers because of this recognition and reward, okay? I did see that strongly for some of you. For others of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus, again, or a Capricorn or a Leo. But there, there is something about an end of a tough cycle coming. And someone is getting ready to show the real world someone, okay? I feel like someone is getting ready to snatch some somebody's mask off seriously, okay? But there's getting ready to be some illuminations and some blessings and some abundance coming out of this. And it's going to be, and there is a time of healing here for you, Gemini. Let's go ahead and get into tarot and see what I get for you guys uh, for this spread, all right? Spirit, give me messages for my beautiful Gemini spirit. Make it plain. Give me messages of love, light, peace, and clarity for the beautiful Gemini spirit. What does my Gemini need to know? What's coming towards Gemini and love for February 2020? Guys, my messages are intended to be love readings, but it definitely can resonate in other areas of your life. Ooh, see? Here we go. Death. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Here's that sun again. You definitely could be dealing with the Leo. But there is some sort of ending and transformation happening here. I said there's about to be a light at the end of the tunnel, Gemini. And there's definitely about to be some sort of blessings, illuminations. Abundance, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, you could be dealing with the Leo, but I got two major arcanas here, so there's definitely some huge changes going on here. Okay, if this is show the world a real you is about you, you're getting ready to step out. Two of Pentacles, see, I have a decision, 
here somebody may be juggling resources or ideas or juggling money but there's about to be a recognition and a reward because it goes from the two to the three definitely could be dealing with an earth sign the four swords here's your energy Okay, there is some sort of ending and transformation happening. You may be on you may be on some sort of break with someone. You may be healing and meditating, but there is an end of a rough cycle approaching. Okay, give me more for this for Gemini. The Ace of Swords. There you go. <laughs> There's you. There you go. So you are getting some sort of truth and clarity. Some of you are getting some sort of acceptance or some sort of acknowledgement or some sort of communication here. Okay, give me one more for the beautiful Gemini. The three of swords, yeah. Yeah, but that's about to be over. The bottom of my deck is the eight of pentacles. Okay, so there's definitely about to be some work and some effort. Um, and some and some motive and there's someone's motivated to do something here. But let's go ahead and get into it, Gemini. I have death. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio, but this is about an ending. Something is ending in order for something to transform, okay? And and I feel like it, it is whatever this um this top whatever this toxicity is here, it's coming to an end. Whatever this is for you. Uh, Gemini, you could definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio, but there's about to be light at the end of the tunnel. Next, I have the sun, which is your light at the end of the tunnel. You could be dealing with the Leo, but this is blessings, abundance, illumination. This is being on the divinely guided path here, okay? And some of you may feel like someone is not on a divinely guided path and you're getting ready to end something with them, okay? Because, uh, because they're not showing the world the real them. Okay, maybe they're being toxic. This energy is gaining momentum. You're not getting the recognition and reward from this person. Don't know, Gemini. Make this fit how this fits. Next, I have the two of pentacles. This is someone juggling, okay? This is someone juggling ideas or juggling money or juggling or juggling a family or something to that effect. But there is someone juggling something here. And I have you. I have your energy, the four of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You definitely could be dealing with an, uh, another air sign such as yourself. But this is you taking a break. Um, praying, meditating. Okay, you may have someone on ice. Okay, because you feel it could be because you feel like they're not showing the world the real them. Okay, but there's something about someone using their wisdom here. This and I have you resting and meditating. Okay, then next I have the Ace of Swords, which is your energy here, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I don't know if you spoke the truth to a Leo, if you spoke the truth to a Capricorn or a Taurus, but there's something here about the truth, okay? And this is going in your favor. Next, I have the Three of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is your energy again. Something did make you feel backstabbed or betrayed. You, you, you took a break from something and there's getting ready to be some sort of truth being spoken. There's going to be an ending and a transformation and there's about to be abundance and illumination in this. Let me go ahead and clarify and see what this is for you, Gemini. I hope these, message, these messages resonate because I'm not exactly sure what you got going on here, Gemini. For some of you, you are definitely getting ready to graduate or something like that, okay? You're definitely getting ready to graduate. I feel like you may have worked really hard. You've been a bit depressed. You may have been studying very hard for this, but you're getting ready to step out and show the world the real you. The energy is gaining momentum. There's about to be an end to that cycle. If you've been studying something or working really hard on... Or something as far as school or work, there, there's about to be a time for healing. You're about to get the recognition. You're about to heat. There's you're about to get the recognition that you've been looking for in this. Okay, but this could definitely be dealing with the person, and you may have to put this person on ice and take a break from them because they're, because things were getting a little bit too rough. Definitely could have been a Leo. Maybe you weren't getting the recognition and the reward. Maybe you felt like you were being juggled by this person. Let's go ahead and get into this Gemini. Why is death here for Gemini? Why is death here? For the Gemini spirit. Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, but this is love. Here's the fool. <laughs> you could be dealing with an Aries. But there is an ending in a transformation here, okay? There's love here. And there's an ending in a transformation. And you definitely could be dealing with the water sign. I have somebody taking a leap, Gemini. You could be leaving a water sign. Okay? You could be dealing with an Aries. <laughs> But I feel like there has been an, an ending in a transformation with someone, okay? But there's a lot of love here. And it looks like somebody's getting ready to take a leap back towards you to make an offer. Let's go ahead and see what the sun is here. Why is the sun? The six of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, soul, and the five of swords. Okay, so here's your energy at the bottom of my deck. You've been in two minds. There's been some sort of conflict. And there's this is definitely something about a past love. I have the six of cups here. So this could definitely be someone from the past. This could definitely be a soulmate. 
But there is something about abundance and equal give and take, okay? So you are getting ready to get some sort of abundance, uh, Gemini. It looks like it looks like you make someone really happy and they want to give you something. There's a strong temptation for this person to do this. They want to show the world the real them or how they feel about you. They see you as some sort of missed opportunity, Gemini. Ooh, -wee. what's the two of pentacles here? The eight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Okay, so you're about to get a recognition and, and a reward, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. Whatever's been juggling here, there's about to be messages about this. If, if you put someone on ice because you feel like they were being fake or phony or toxic, okay, and you wanted them to see the light for some reason, and this person was juggling something, they're getting ready to communicate with you. Nine of cups, you make this person very happy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, there's that devil again. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of temptation involved in this. It could definitely be some toxicity, but someone definitely sees you as wish fulfillment. And they and, and they may be a bit obsessed with you, Gemini. Someone is juggling something, but they're get they're get, or you felt like someone was juggling you. You got you're about to get the recognition and the reward. They're about to communicate with you. They want to move on to, to calmer waters. There's a tower moment coming here for this person. Give me more for this four of wands. Give me more on the four of wands. I feel strongly you put somebody on ice, Gemini. The page of swords <laughs> and strength. Yes. Okay, Gemini. So this is making sense for me if this is in love. You definitely put someone on ice here, okay? And here's your energy. Taking a break. You may be watching this person. This person may be watching you. Again, for some of you, you are just plain old studying. And you're getting ready to get some real abundance here. It's about to pay off big time for you. But for others of you, this is something about studying. I had a page of swords here. So some of you definitely could be taking a break and just stu studying something else and not focusing on this person. But, the, but, but there is something, the energy is gaining momentum. You're about to get a recognition and, re and a reward out of something, okay? Here's strength up at the bottom of my deck. Another card of Leo. So someone could be holding back, trying to reframe, trying to hold back their lust. But somebody's watching you or you them. The moon, you could be dealing with the cancer. There's a lot, there's some secrets and stress here. The star, someone's going to heal this though. The hermit, mm-hmm. Someone is being quiet, but they're getting ready to heal this. They see you as a divine partner. Give me more on the Ace of Swords here for Gemini. The Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. Okay, so here's your energy with the truth. So did you speak the truth to someone and then block them? Because there's the, there's the block. The Seven of Wands is I'm standing my ground. I said what I meant. I meant what I said. Here's the truth. Stay away. At the bottom of my deck, I have the Five of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is disappointment. This is heartbreak. This is feeling of regrets. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, there was some harsh words being spoken here. Page of Wands. It could have been something concerning children. But somebody's getting ready to take a, a new direction. Yeah, definitely could be dealing with the Cancer. But someone's coming back. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Because they want... They want they, they they want a connection with you. Someone's come rushing back in, and they may be offering you the recognition and reward. May actually be um, a solid commitment. Give me more for the three of swords here for Gemini. Give me more for the three of swords for Gemini. Here you are, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aqu I'm sorry, Gemini. There you go, and the Hangman and the Four of Wands. Okay, so this could be someone that you lived with. Okay, this could be someone that you had children with. This is something about a divine counterpart, though. You guys have some sort of great collaboration with each other. However, here you are. I don't know if this is a third-party situation, Gemini. Make this fit with its fits, but this does feel like this could have been something about a third-party situation. But here you are feeling backstabbed and betrayed. You're seeking truth and clarity. I feel like you spoke some harsh truths to someone and blocked them, okay? Okay. And then I have the hangman, someone feeling stuck and stagnant, all right? But the energy is gaining momentum. Someone is getting ready to show the, the real world, show the world the real them. Someone is very tempted by you. They may be borderline obsessed by you, but there's a lot of love here. And I feel like whatever you did is inspiring some sort of ending and transformation in someone. Five of Pentacles, they're feeling left out in the cold. Ten of Swords, yes. They want to end this painful cycle because there is some heartbreak. Yeah, I see. I, I, I think that it's you. That spoke some harsh words and blocked someone. But I, I feel strongly that they're getting ready to come back around and offer you some sort of blessing and abundance and some sort of recognition and reward. Okay. There, there is an, an end to a tough cycle is approaching Gemini and there is about to be healing. And I do see it. All right. 
All right, Gemini's, if this message resonates, please give, remember to give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or a share. Again, I do offer personals, and if you're interested in booking me for one, my email information is in the description box below. If this is where we part ways, Gemini's, I wish you the very best on your journeys, and I'll bring you guys some messages really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.